hey guys this is evie and welcome back to my channel so this is my second installment of my beginner friendly series and in the first installment i show how i did these nails using nail forms so today i'm going to be showing you how i do my left hand using nail tips all right so just like the first installment you just want to make sure that you're prepping your natural nails um, because this is very important you want to make sure you get all of your dead skin and any you know crusty cuticle off of your nail plate because that hinders um, the acrylic from adhering properly and you'll get lifting so you want to push back your cuticles and also clean underneath your natural nails and here I'm just taking down the length of my nails um, so now I have my e-file and I'm just going to switch out that drill bit and put in this cuticle clean bit. This is from Todak USA and it is perfect for getting around the cuticle area. And since I'm holding the hand piece with my right hand, I am going to switch the drill to the forward position. And I'm just going to work this drill bit around my cuticle area. Um, and I love this drill bit. Even if you think that you don't have like dried skin or you know dried cuticle on your nail plate, this drill bit will like prove you wrong. <laughs> so yeah, I just work this around and you wanna work gently. Um, you don't have to push down very hard or anything like that. So after I work that around all my cuticles, I'm just gonna take the hand file and I'm using the 180 grit side and I'm just going to lightly etch my nail plate. Um, and you just want to be very gentle with this as well, but you do wanna take away all of the shine from your nail. And this just ensures that the acrylic adheres to your nail and you don't get any lifting. So this is after etching all of my nail beds and removing the dust. So now I'm going to apply these long stiletto nail tips and these are from BU and I got these from Amazon. I will leave a link down below. Um, but it did take me a while to find some tips that I really, really like. And I like these because they do have a nice C curve to them, but they're not like super, super slim and they fit um, pretty well. But you want to make sure that you are picking nail tips that um, fit properly. And the strange thing is that my index finger and my ring finger are always the same size tip. <laughs> um, so anyway, taking this nail, I'm just going to size it with my pinky nail. And it is a little wide. And I am going to file the size of this tip to give me that perfect fit. And you just want to file some and then check it against your nail. Um, you obviously don't want to file too much or it'll become too short. So now I'm going to glue the tip on using this IBD 5 second brush on nail glue. And I just hold it in place and it really does take about five to 10 seconds and it is stuck. So you wanna make sure that you are applying the tips straight because you will have a hard time trying to get them off. So I didn't have to um, do any filing to this tip for my ring fingernail. So I just went ahead and glued that on. And for my middle finger, um, this one was just a tad bit too wide. So I am gonna take some width from the sides and now it fits perfectly. Now, um, if you guys been following me for a while, you know that I do have a preference. I do prefer to do nail forms over nail tips, um, and that's just a personal preference. I don't think anyone is easier than the other. As you can see with tips, you can't just glue them on all the time. You have to make sure that they actually fit, um, even if that means filing them and all that.
So anyway, I have all of my nails on and I am gonna match them in length to my other hand. So I'm just checking each finger. And with cutting the length of the nail tips, I am leaving just a little bit more length than what I want the final length to be. Um, and this just gives me room to, you know, file and shape without getting too short. All right, so once I have the length down to where I want, I am going to take my hand file and I'm using the 180 grit side and I am going to blend the nail tip with my natural nail. You have to be really careful with this. You don't want to file on your nail. You only wanna file on the tip um, because you don't wanna like really put any pressure on it because you can file your nails and you'll make them even you know thinner so you want to make sure that you are only filing the nail tip and occasionally i do rub my finger on the tip just to make sure that there isn't any deep dips or anything like that i want it to be as smooth as possible so you really can't feel the difference between um, my natural nail and where the tip starts All right, so after that, I'm just gonna use the alcohol wipe and I am going to remove all of the dust. All right, so this is the monomer that I use. I use ASP and I get this from Sally's. Um, it really doesn't matter what monomer you use. You can use whatever you like. <laughs> this is just what I prefer. This is the nail brush I'm using. It is the number eight Oval Kalinsky brush from Alpha. And I really love this size. It just gives me the perfect control. And I think it's perfect for beginners because it is smaller. Um, and the handle does double as the cap. So that is one of the reasons why I love this brush. All right, so now I have Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator, um, and I'm just going to apply this to all of my nails. And what this does is just dehydrates the nail, um, taking away all of the natural oils, um, so your acrylic can adhere better because oil and acrylic doesn't mix. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with No Lift Nails Primer, and I'm just going to apply this to all of the nails as well. And today I'll be using Lawn Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. I do have larger sizes available, so go ahead and check that out. It's on my website, I'll leave a link down below. So here I'm just showing you guys how I pick up the beads of acrylic. First, I dip my brush into my dampen dish and I press it all the way to the bottom and kind of swirl it just to make sure I'm getting all of the air bubbles from the brush. And then I just pick up a bead of clear acrylic and as you can see, it is not dripping from the brush. It's kind of staying put. And this is how you want your beads to look. You don't want them to be too wet, nor do you want them to be too dry. So it just takes practice to really get the hang of the, you know, correct powder to liquid ratio. All right, so I like to do one last coat of the No Lift Nails Primer on my nails before I apply the acrylic. And what this does is just ensure that you have maximum adhesion between your nail and the acrylic. Um, so while that primer is still wet, I go ahead and apply my acrylic. I like to place the first bead where the natural nail and the nail tip meets, and then I just work that down the nail. And then I'd like to add a bead closer to the cuticle area and work that down the nail and just continue to build the nail up. Um, I don't have any, you know, way that I do this. I don't do like, you know, any one ball or three ball method. 
I just like to, you know, do as many beats of acrylic as it takes to build to build up the nail. Um, so I don't want you guys to feel like you have to do it a certain way. Like you can do, you know, however many beads, because that's what I do. <laughs> so yeah, you just want to take your time. I do find that using smaller beads give you better control. And as you feel confident, you can use larger beads and, you know, it'll, it'll take you less time. So I just continue the same steps for each nail.
All right, so this is after all of the acrylic is laid and set. So now I'm gonna be doing my shaping and filing. I'm taking my 100 slash 180 grit hand file and I'm starting with the 100 grit side, which is the coarser side. And I just like to start off with that and shape up my sides and my um, tip and also just smooth over the nail. And as you can see, I am working with my non-dominant hand. So, you know, I'm kind of holding the file a little weird, but you do what you do to get it to work. <laughs> All right, so this is after all of the shaping is done. And now I'm gonna flip the file over, which is the finer grit. And I'm gonna file the nails and this just gets out um, those deep scratches and smooth it out. All right, so this is after I've filed all the nails with the 180 grit file. And next I like to go in with my e-file using this medium grit safety bit that I got from Poochie's Nails. I like to work this around the cuticle area and what this does is just seals that acrylic around the cuticle, um, making it nice and flush and making sure that you don't have any lifting or anything like that. And it just makes the nails look super natural. So I like to finish off my cuticle areas with this bit. All right, so this is after all of that is done. And then finally, I take my buffing block on the fine side and I just buff all of the nails. All right, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed, and I've um, removed all of the dust. And as you can see, the tips look really well. I like how these came out, super natural. All right, so this is my right hand, and as you know, I did nail forms on that hand, and then tips on my left, so can you tell the difference? <laughs> All right, so now I'm going in with the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat, and I'm just going to apply this to all of the nails. And this is the time where you can tell if, you know, you did a good job or not. <laughs> um, if you blend your tips in really well, you shouldn't be able to see where the tip starts. So I think I did a really good job with blending these because I really can't tell like, you know, where the tip is glued onto. I just cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And this is how the nails look after the gel top coat. 
um, you really can't tell like which one is which, right? <laughs> but I can slightly tell like for my right hand, because I did use the nail forms, I feel like the clear is a little clearer. To me, it doesn't seem like, you know, no matter what you do, the nail tips aren't as clear as actual acrylic which is probably why I like the nail forms better because I'm able to get like that super clear look. Um, but it's okay with the nail tips. All you have to do is just basically put top coat underneath. And I think that's what I'm gonna do because yeah, to me, the tips are looking just a tad bit cloudy. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the gel top coat underneath the nails. Um, this isn't something that I like to do all the time because it's, you know, it's just a preference, but went ahead and did that and cured and now everything is super glossy. And I'm going to use this rose oil on my cuticles. And this is the finished look, just a very simple, sleek, back to basics acrylic nails. And yeah, so I have the nail forms on my right hand and the tips on my left. And you really can't tell the difference, honestly. So it's really up to you which way you want to do your nails, just depending on, you know, what design and all of that. Um, so yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you guys in my next one.